Hello, it's Christian, and welcome back to my computer again. We are, well, I am playing around with Fusion Physics again, and another geometric thing. This is a geodome, the 2V icosahedron. So, this is where I have gotten so far. I got a bit fell this. I have also created one with uh, ribs and mitre corners just for the fun of it. Uh, this was the thing I want to end it up with, but we will not do this now because the way I like to do things, I start with the basic geometry. I'm just close that one. Uh, this this. Uh, this is the two frequency icosahedron. If I get everything correct, I'm not a geodome knower. I just like to play around with uh, geometric things. And some things about this geodome is that all the points, the pointy points, are touching the sphere that's are su surrounding this geodome, whatever name is circumference. Yeah, I'm gonna find a word later for that. And I will try to create this one as usual. I must uh, first, first of all, right to mention I have a video if you get frustrated with me or Fusion 360 because I can do some quite fast steps when I work. And this is not a beginner's tutorial. You need to know some things about Fusion, how Fusion works with surfaces and stuff like that because I will just work through this and get this done. And I will not explain all the steps, how I found the way to this solution. But I will explain something, hopefully it can help you, and, and you will hopefully enjoy this. We're going to remove this one. We're going to also have some web pages to take a look at later, so we can compare it to stuff. We are going to start with a sketch on our ground plane. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a circle. Uh, I'm going to do the construction circle. This is the size of the sphere surrounding everything, and we shall dimension it, of course. Uh, I'm going to make it to 6 meters, so that's 6,000 millimeters and it get outside like that so that is the size of the sphere that's surrounding everything so that's the maximum dimension of everything so because it's a six meter diameter here and it's going to be here the hive in the center is going to be three meters uh, it's quite logical when you start looking at it and now we're going to start creating the uh, geodome itself we're going to start with a polygon anyone who want touch the center point Turn off construction, of course, because we're going to use it. The first one here is this is beta to go on the pentagons, and we're going to spin them around like we do. So, this is going to have 10 sides like that. We're going to make a coincident between one of the corners and the circle so we get the dimension correct, and then to lock it in the 2D plane, we're going to make this vertical, horizontal, I mean, sorry. Uh, so, we get a lockdown. That's our base. Uh, now I'm going to need to do a pentagon. We're going to create a polygon. Move it a bit out here. It's going to be five sides. Sorry. Five. You got a dimension. We're going to remove that. Do it construction like that. First thing I do, we're going to remove a dimension I happen to put in. I don't want any dimensions. I'm going to make this equal because uh, this side here is one of the sides of this pentagon. So we're going to make these two equal. I'm going to make it horizontal. And I can make a coincident between that point and uh, that one. So you get the pentagon line. Of course, I'm going to make it to the center and stuff. I, I do this because I need the center point of the pentagon. You're going to see later when we use that form. Uh, you have, if you have, you've looked at some of my earlier videos, I do not like to use 3D sketches because they are a bit hard to constrain sometimes. I finished the sketch. We have done everything we need on our ground plane. Now we're going to do a sketch on the or, or upwards, I want to call it, uh, create sketch. The plane I'm going to use is the plane that goes through this pentagon. So we're going to use, this, yes, we're going to project the pentagon into this sketch. So we're going to do it on uh, this plane. Uh, we're going to hit the S key and intersect. Use project or intersect, is, yeah, it's a bit different how you work, but I like to do intersect because I want the intersection of this circle this base of a pentagon. We can also use insects or twisted points with the midpoint of a pentagon and the center point for the fun of it. Like that. And we're going to start with circles. Circle, construction circle. The first circle I do is the size of a sphere. So you're going from a center point out to this. Oops, sorry. Not there. Once more, circle from center point all the way out of there. So this is the size of the sphere. Uh, we're going to do some more circles. The first one is from the base of a pentagon to the point here, the center point of everything. 
Uh, this circle here is where we basically revolve this pentagon around here up to here. So we now know that this pentagon is going to need to be up here. So we're going to do that. We do the line from here up to here. We're going to use this to do the a construction plane to draw the pentagon. And we're going to need a mirror plane later. We shall find out when to do this. So I'm going to just create the line now from here up to here. And then I need to somehow find the center point up here. So we're going to do another circle. Construction again from here to here. So this is the center point of the pentagon. It's going to be here. And we're going to do we're going to split that pentagon face into a triangle. So we need to find the center point where it's going to go. And that center point needs to touch the outer sphere out here. So let's do a line from this here. Make sure it gets tangent or tangent to this circle or perpendicular to this line. It's the same thing because the, the circle has the same. Yeah, you go get the geometry. Now to make it easy to see things, I'm going to change these constructions line over to normal lines because they're easier to see when I move to the next sketch. So we're going to finish sketch. We have done what we need. We have the basic geometry now. Now we're going to start sketching one of the sides. Construct plane at an angle. Not that line. I want to use this line here. So we get this plane and on that plane we're going to create a sketch. We will do some, uh, we can do projections now. We're going to project in this line and we can put in the center point. That's basically all we need. And uh, we're going to create, uh, sorry, create polygon and use this. This is the center point for our pentagon face. So we're going to do that. We need five sides. I'm just going to put it here for now. Make a coincident between one of the corners and one of the points here. This is the base here. And that gets fully constrained. Thank you. We're going to finish sketch. We have now done all the sketching we need to do on three planes here now. So I'm going to now open up my sketch and construction plane. going to use that layer. So we're going to turn off our two first sketches. I just want to see this pentagon and make things easier because I'm going to hit over to surface. We're going to create and choose a loft. And I do not want to choose the profile. I don't know exactly how things work here sometimes, but I notice it works best if I choose the edges of this pentagon first. So that's my first profile. Edges. Turn off sketch number. Turn on sketch number two. It went aloft up to this point here that's touching the outer perimeter of a sphere, like that. And we get those five faces in one movement. And we say, okay, thank you, software. I'm gonna now turn on sketch one again so we can see everything. Uh, now we take this body, we're going to do S and circular, circular pattern. We're going to change the pattern type to bodies, this body. Axis, you can send, take the center axis, just simple, take the circle out here. This is the circle around, that's the same thing for the software. It says three times new. I want five sides, we're working with pentagons. And by that, we have done five sides. Now we need the top one. That's why I did this line here. The one's going to do construct. Plane at our angle. This line here is going to create a nice plane there. Hit OK. S key and mirror. Mirror, thank you. Uh, pattern type is going to be bodies. This is body where we start the sketching. The mirror plane is going to be this plane here. And the OK key. And I'm going to turn off the plane. So now we are done all the pentagon size. Now we just need to fill in our little triangles here. So when I do this, I try to avoid doing it in connection to the sketches I've done here. So I'm going to rotate it slightly. Is it easier to pick the things I want to do? We're going to do a patch and make sure we uncheck enable chaining. Otherwise, we just choose the whole pentagon over time. We're going to start here. We're taking one edge, two edge, and the third edge. And we get a patch. Thank you. Do patch again. And we do the triangle down here. Side, side. And we use the sketch line down here to finish that shape off. Now I don't yeah, we can keep a sketch for a while too. And uh, now we need this one. Spin around. Yes. Circular patterns. Circular pattern. Pattern type bodies. These two bodies. Axis. I choose the circle out here again. And once again five times. Did I forget to choose one body? I did. <laughs> Yes, we choose that. So, sorry, I missed. I need to choose for both bodies. 
I make mistakes sometimes. Uh, let's turn off all the sketches, very uh, confusing, and now stitch. And let's see, we can choose all of them at the same time and stitch it together. And by doing that, we have now done our little 2V uh, icosahedron, a geodome. And we're gonna turn on our sketch it, but only the this turn of those, and we're gonna show dimension. So the one I did here is a six meter one, so we're gonna do it on web pages. Uh, we can do, I prefer this one is easier to see on. This is Dumarama, and we also have one that's called Simply Differently. We have calculators to do this. But I like this one, so we're gonna move it over to the side. I did that in the wrong order. We do that first, and then that. Now we have, we can scroll down. And this is the 2V Geodexy Dome Calculator. And I have to put in the spherical diameter of 6. And according to this, there are two length side here, and you really see that better on the other page. Can you jump over? Now it's hard to see now. Let's just stay on this one. Uh, there are two lengths. There's a long one, that's the base here, and there's a shorter one. So I also have six meters here. So let's check if I have done my little model correctly. We're going to inspect. We're going to choose one of these. This is going to be the B, the long one. My software says 1854.102 and their account says 1854. Yeah. And we're going to restart selection. We're going to have a look here. That's B, and that's a longer B, that's a, that's a short one. Or all the five ones here in this Pentagon are the short ones. Any one of these 1639.599 and 1.64. Yeah. So it looks like my model is correct. And if now everything works and doesn't crash, I hope as I don't have a whole video now, nothing goes wrong, we should be able to chase me to like a 2500 diameter. Yeah, we can resize it. That's all like about fusion. If you do everything parametric, you can just change sizes and things like that if you make projections between sketches and stuff like that. So this is how I create the base shape of the 2V Icosahedron geodesic dome structure, I want to call it. And from this, we can start working out other things. You can make it to solid and shell it out. You can move faces and stuff like that. But you, to me, I always want to create the base shape first and then work from that and create uh, pipes or whatever I want to do later and stuff like that. So I hope this is useful for some of you. And by with that, take care and see you around. Bye.